Welcome to the Amazon Logistics onboarding program. Amazon Logistics, or as most people call it, AMZL, is the last mile and has the most influence on the end customer experience and our reputation in the communities where we operate. You'll hear people refer to us as Amazon, AMZL, or Amazon Logistics. By the end of your onboarding experience, we hope you feel more connected to Amazon, AMZL, and a larger global community committed to being customer obsessed. We have a lot of information to share with you. In the next three days, you'll learn and practice how to be a safe and successful delivery associate. Today, we'll give you an overview of Amazon and dive into the foundations of working in the delivery station. You'll learn strong and reliable routines, safe driving habits, delivery success techniques, and what it means to be customer obsessed. Tomorrow, you're going to practice everything you will learn today and apply the skills while operating a vehicle. Some of you are training to operate vehicles regulated by the U.S. Department of Transportation, also referred to as DOT regulated vehicles. Others are not. Either way, you'll get to practice on your specific type of vehicle and learn the different tools you need to succeed. On our final day, you'll get to show off your safe driving skills. You'll be in a vehicle with one of our trainers and you will demonstrate all of the safety, quality, and productivity skills you've learned. Each day of training is broken down into multiple courses so you can deep dive into the topics. You'll learn about the culture of safety that we promote across our global network and community of partners. We will share details about our safe driving standards and those of the Department of Transportation, and we will introduce you to the tools of our trade. Here is a detailed agenda of what we will be covering today. Welcome to AMZL. Let's get started with an overview of Amazon, our footprint, network, and leadership principles. Then we'll introduce you to our delivery stations, how they're set up, and the people that make it happen at every step of the process. We'll also talk about the customer experience and your role in it. And we'll take a look at the way Amazon is innovating on behalf of our customers, like in-home deliveries and lockers. First, we want to give you a quick overview of how we're keeping you, our partners, and customers safe and healthy during COVID-19. With the outbreak of COVID-19, we had to innovate our business and act quickly. Amazon has made over 150 process updates to help protect employees and partners, such as eliminating start of shift meetings, and we have implemented enhanced cleaning and social distancing measures. Millions of people around the world rely on Amazon and our partners to deliver essential goods. This is why you are so important. To support the health and safety of our communities, we are taking every precaution imaginable. If you see something that can be approved upon, please tell us, and we'll take action if we can. We don't take this lightly and hope you won't either. Let's watch a quick video to help illustrate how we're keeping you and our customers safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. Then we'll dive into additional information about the specific changes being made in station and on the road. Every day, millions of people around the world are shopping from home, relying on Amazon for essential products to keep them healthy. Meanwhile, our goal is to keep our frontline Amazonians and partners safe. We've had to quickly innovate and adapt to these unusual times, but safety was, and is, at the heart of everything we do. In fact, so far, we've made over 150 significant process changes to make sure we're keeping everyone safe, such as floor tape, distance markers, dividers between workstations, eliminating start of shift meetings, just to name a few. Our priority is to maintain six feet or two meters of social distance between every employee and partner. To minimize crowds, we're staggering shifts, break times, and lunches. We've also started taking the temperature of employees and partners daily and asking anyone with a fever to return home and join us again 
once they've gone three days fever-free without medication. At the same time, we'll be cleaning every delivery station and vehicle in our fleet every day. We're armed with thousands of bottles of cleaning solution and disinfectant wipes to do the job. We know clean hands are one of the keys to controlling the virus. So we're distributing hand sanitizer, gloves, hand wipes, and are installing portable hand washing stations. We're also distributing Amazon branded face coverings. Face coverings are mandatory while on Amazon property, except when eating and drinking or driving in a van alone. We're also making sure we're delivering the packages to our customer's doorstep with health and safety top of mind. This means wiping down our vehicles and delivery devices and avoiding physical contact with the customer, like not ringing the doorbell or requiring signatures. Should you get sick, we are here to support you. We'll ask you to stay home, seek medical advice, and do what's necessary to get healthy and well. We've put a lot of thought into all of this, but we may not have thought of everything. Share your needs or concerns with your manager, delivery service partner, or HR partner, or on the Voice of the Associate or Voice of the Driver Board. Tell us what you think. Since March 1st, you have helped deliver over 315 million essential goods to people all over the world. Important things like groceries, medicine, protective gear, diapers, and baby formula. Thank you for the vital service that you are providing. As you can see from the video you just watched, because of the COVID-19 virus, your onboarding experience is going to be a little different to make sure we are keeping you and our Amazon customers safe. Our processes have been updated to reflect current COVID-19 safety precautions. A few examples include, all individuals must wear a face covering or mask at all times on Amazon property, except when eating, drinking, smoking, or driving a van alone. This includes Amazon car parking areas. All Amazon operations employees, delivery partners, and delivery associates at our sites received two reusable washable face coverings. Reusable face coverings are more durable and will help reduce waste. We will still have a supply of disposable face coverings available for those who prefer the disposable option or in the event a reusable face covering is lost or damaged. Social distancing. Social distancing means keeping a physical distance to avoid close contact with other individuals. For us, this is a minimum of six feet or two meters. Temperature checks. We began temperature checks as an effort to ensure that employees, partners, and support staff are healthy when they arrive at work and establish temperature screening processes at the main entrances. For anyone who registered a temperature over the CDC recommended 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or otherwise specified temperature by location, they were asked to return home and only come back to work after they've gone three days without a fever, medication free. To make sure we meet social distancing guidelines, we've eliminated team stand-up meetings during shifts. Instead, Important information is shared by a whiteboards near main areas and through conversations with managers. We've staggered shift start times, lunches, and break times, spread out tables in the break rooms on site, and suspended exit screening to ensure ease of movement near main entrances. We've also inserted dividers between workstations and placed distance markers and tape on the floor. Disinfectant wipes and hand sanitizer are standard across our network, and our procurement teams have worked tirelessly to create new sources of supply to keep these critical items flowing. We've scaled our daily safety and cleaning supply audits, so we're getting ahead of ordering more supplies for sites that may need it. In addition, we've installed portable hand washing stations. Vehicle cleaning is an important element to keeping delivery associates healthy while out on the road. This includes wiping down frequently touched equipment and surfaces at the start and end of every shift, like your rabbit device or other handheld devices, vehicle door handles, keys, the steering wheel, belt and belt buckle, dashboard and buttons on the radio, fuel caps, and levers on the seat. Remember to also take all of your personal items with you at the end of your shift. 
And for safe package delivery to our customers, we are asking delivery associates to avoid physical contact, which includes handshaking, and to also avoid knocking on the door or ringing the doorbell. Place the package on the doorstep and don't hand the package directly to the customer. Not to share their devices with customers. We have temporarily disabled the requirement for a customer signature for deliveries. Always wear a face covering when making a package delivery. And frequently sanitize your hands before and after delivery. Before we go into any other topic, let's talk more about customer obsession and how this drives Amazon and us as part of the last mile of delivery. Take a look at our virtuous cycle flywheel. Yes, Jeff Bezos, our founder and CEO, drew this on the back of a napkin. And it was as true back then as it is today. The foundation is, if we take care of the customer, we will grow. Here's how the flywheel works. It starts with the customer experience. A great experience attracts customers and traffic. More traffic attracts third-party sellers. More sellers brings more selection. Better selection creates a better experience for customers. Side benefit, as we get bigger, we can use economy of scale to lower our cost structure, which in turn lowers prices for customers, again, increasing the likelihood of a better customer experience. Where do you think you fit in here? At Amazon, the virtuous cycle tells us that continuously delivering on customer experience is essential to our growth. That means we need to be constantly working towards stabilizing and further improving our processes to continue to deliver on a better and better customer experience over time. Your help provides the excellent customer experience. Let's play a bit of trivia before we jump into an overview of Amazon. What was Amazon originally called? The answer is Cadabra. The name was a play off of Abracadabra to show how magical online shopping was. The company was renamed after Jeff's lawyer misheard the name as Cadaver. What was the year Amazon was founded? 1994. I'm sure most of you know we started as an online bookstore. Bonus points if you know the first book ever sold on Amazon.com. It was Fluid Concepts and Creative Analogies, Computer Models of the Fundamental Mechanisms of Thought, sold in July 1995. Say that three times fast. Our customer demand is global, as is Amazon's commitment to deliver to everyone on the planet. This adds up to a significant amount of complexity, all started from a simple concept to focus on the customer. This commitment to deliver packages globally is where you come in. Next, we'll look at the Amazon network from first mile to last. Last mile, that's us. First, packages leave the Amazon Fulfillment Center or Sort Center, which are the warehouses where the products are processed and stored. This is the first mile. Then they are sent in line haul to the Amazon delivery station. This is the middle mile. Next, sort associates unload the packages from the trailers and sort them into containers according to the routes. The packages are then loaded to the delivery vehicles and sent out in waves for delivery. This is the last mile. Lastly, the delivery associates navigate to the delivery point and deliver the package to a secure location. Let's briefly talk about what we mean when we say last mile. Last mile is a term used in supply chain management and transportation planning to describe the movement of people and goods from a transportation hub to a final destination. For us, this is our customer. AMZL is the customer facing part of the supply chain and is the face to the customer. While every role in our supply chain is integral to the customer experience, we are the last stop and have the most influence on the end customer experience and our reputation in the communities where we operate. Time for a fast fact. Question. In 2019, how many packages did Amazon Last Mile Delivery Network deliver globally? 
The answer is more than 3.5 billion packages. That means we essentially delivered a package to every single person living in China, India, the European Union, and the United States combined. At Amazon, we hold ourselves and each other accountable for demonstrating the leadership principles through our actions every day. Most important, our leadership principles describe how Amazon does business, how leaders lead, and how we keep the customer at the center of our decisions. Our unique Amazon culture, described by our leadership principles, helps us relentlessly pursue our mission of being Earth's most customer-centric company. The leadership principles are a clear articulation of those things that have always been a part of what makes Amazon great. While our principles have evolved over time, Jeff Bezos started Amazon with six core values, and they remain true to the values we've held since day one. From this mission, he built an enduring, sustainable company culture that has scaled with our business. No matter your role, you are a leader too. While all leadership principles are important, customer obsession really stands out when we talk about the reason why Amazon Logistics exists. Leaders start with the customer and work backwards. They work vigorously to earn and keep customer trust. And although leaders pay attention to competitors, they obsess over customers. Now that you know customer obsession is at the heart of everything we do, it makes sense that our vision within the AMZL network is to be Earth's most trusted, customer-centric carrier. We obsess over the last mile delivery and ensure every package gets to our customers on time. There are seven things that are always top of mind for us at AMZL. Your safety, our customers, your experience, inclusion and diversity, the communities we serve, innovation, and sustainability. First and foremost is the health and safety of our employees, partners, customers, and community members. Always. Our culture of safety includes the fact that we follow all safety laws and regulations and regularly evaluate our processes and procedures to make sure we're providing the safest work environment for everyone. If you see something, say something. Safety starts with you, so if you ever feel unsafe or see something that could be improved upon, let a manager know. Our customers. Customer trust is something we don't take lightly. Customer obsession is at the heart of everything we do and every decision we make. Your experience. We strive to create programs that inspire employees and partners to be proud to work for and with Amazon. Making sure you have the tools and resources to do your job successfully is important to us. We have an open door policy and we value feedback. If you have ideas for ways to improve your experience and the experience of others, we want to hear it. Inclusion and diversity. Inclusion and diversity are not about corporate social responsibility. It's simply about doing the right thing. Our work is centered on the customer and the understanding that diverse, inclusive teams produce better results. Amazon has been, and always will be, committed to inclusion and diversity. Communities we serve. We deliver to places where we all work, live, and play. It's where our friends and family are. We recognize that our delivery vehicles and stations are highly visible in the community. We see this as an opportunity to build our reputation and positively impact the community. We all represent the Amazon brand. Every single interaction matters. We're a good neighbor. We listen to each community we serve to understand their needs and better support them. As each person involved with our last mile operations, station leaders and associates, DSP owners, delivery associates, Amazon Flex associates, we're all members of the community. We expect that we listen to each other, see each other as partners and team members, and work together to have the greatest impact. It's important to remember that every interaction in the community, including with each other in the station, as well as out on the road, is an opportunity to build stronger relationships. When you see opportunities for improvements, 
Speak up. Your perspective is super important, and we want to be better. Innovation. We innovate, build, and constantly improve solutions that are good for the environment, our customers, and our employees and partners. We believe teamwork and dialogue are the best engines for innovation. We start with the customer and we work backwards. Innovation is just part of our DNA as a company and it fosters our success, growth, and job creation. Sustainability. We care about the planet and environment and want to preserve our foundation as a safe, reliable, and convenient delivery network. We have launched several major and impactful programs, such as the Climate Pledge, a commitment to reach the Paris Agreement 10 years early. We are constantly diving deep to uncover opportunities to limit waste and improve energy efficiency. At Amazon, inclusion and diversity are simply about doing the right thing and are not mutually exclusive. We all have different roles, expectations, and challenges we face inside and outside of Amazon. Let's dive deeper into each of our four main audiences that we'll talk about today. Leaders. As leaders in AMZL, we expect you to create a culture of inclusion by putting customers, community, and employees at the core of all you do. Leaders seek out diverse perspectives, they learn and are curious, and they hire and develop the best people. Delivery service partners. We rely on you to be part of our culture of inclusion, putting customers and community at the center of all you do. As part of the Amazon family, you are helping us build a diverse, world-class operation focused on welcoming everyone. At Amazon, a culture of inclusion means providing access and valuing people of all abilities, colors, genders, religions, sexual orientations, ages, races, nationalities, beliefs, and veteran status. We believe embracing all that unites us means putting people first to reflect and respect the communities in which we operate and the customers we serve. Diversity makes us great and inclusion makes us best. Associates are at the core of AMZL's focus on building a world-class, last-mile operation with inclusion and community at the core. As the last point of contact with our customers, delivery associates make inclusion and diversity come to life in our community. As the individuals who are out on the front lines for Amazon, you are also the ones most susceptible to encountering racism, sexism, homophobia, or other forms of intolerant discrimination from community members. If you ever feel unsafe while on the road, please let a DSP or Amazon manager know right away and call the SDS or 911 if it is an emergency. Next, we'll take a look at some best practices when driving in and around the station. Here's another fast fact for you. At the end of 2019, how many delivery stations were there in Europe, North America, including Canada and Mexico, and Japan? 289. I wouldn't have guessed that either. And we're projected to grow by another nearly 200 stations in 2020 and double this number in 2021. Wow. We've built an entire organization designed to support our associates, Amazon managers and leaders, delivery associates, flex delivery partners, and delivery service partners as they deliver smiles to customers every day. At a high level, we have two teams exclusively dedicated to our field delivery station network operation. The in-station team. Our Amazon station operations and sortation associates focuses on improving sortation and the pick and stage process to ensure delivery associates have defect-free, flawlessly staged packages ready to go so they can easily bring smiles to customers. This includes Amazon station operations managers and sortation associates. While the on-road team focuses on improvements and management of, you guessed it, on-road operations, this team comprises delivery service partners, flex delivery partners, and you, 
Delivery Associates. Together, our in-station and on-road teams run our delivery station operations and deliver billions of smiles every year around the world. Additional teams to support you while at the station are human resources, safety managers, facilities management, and central operations, which is an Amazon-operated team with the goal of providing best-in-class support to delivery service partners in order to facilitate successful deliveries and a perfect customer experience. Central operations services include rescue routing, planning and execution, live metrics and performance tracking, and package level support, geofence editing, package status correction, and re-delivery requests. Though the layout may vary slightly between delivery stations, there are five key areas at every station. DSP desks, package induct, staging areas, sortation, and loadout areas. Stations also operate around the clock. Although each station may vary the way it operates and keep its own timeline, the processes will be very similar. Basically, it works like this. Station setup and line haul arrival begins before midnight. Night sort lasts four to five hours to prep for the day. Staging and route dispatch are prioritized in the morning. Routes are dispatched in the morning around 0600 and 0700. Delivery associates are then on the road for approximately 9 to 10 hours, delivering about 250 to 300 packages. At the end of the shift, the delivery associates return to the station with any undelivered packages. It takes a lot of people to deliver to everyone on the planet. Amazon uses an internal mapping and routing system, which takes into account density, packages per stop, driving time, and time at each stop to calculate. The primary variable in determining the size and length of a route is time. Time is measured in two ways, transit time and service time. Transit time is the time it takes for you to travel from point A to point B. Service time is the time it takes you to complete a delivery once you arrive at a delivery location. Depending on how much transit time or service time is calculated for a route, your package count for the day may differ. We consider delivery associates industrial athletes. The job takes planning, organization, practice, and both physical and mental stamina. You will deliver between 200 and 300 packages each day. The exact number depends on the route. Let's look at how we figure out how many packages should be on each route. Next, we'll talk about what it means to be customer obsessed and deliver the best possible customer experience. Have you ever had a great delivery experience? How did it make you feel? In 1994, Amazon began as an online bookstore. In 2005, we launched Amazon Prime membership and free two-day shipping. In 2006, we launched Prime Video. Can you believe it's been that long? In 2014, we introduced the Amazon Echo. And in 2017, Amazon acquired Whole Foods. We talked about innovations on behalf of the customer but what about innovations specific to shipping and delivery? In 2014, we launched Prime Now, free two-hour delivery. In 2016, Prime Air took off. That's our fleet of cargo planes and drone deliveries. And in 2019, we introduced Amazon Scout, six-wheeled robotics deliveries. Managing our own in-house delivery program unlocks our ability to drive new delivery innovations. The yellow delivery lockers, for example, can be found in local grocery stores and buildings. They aren't always yellow, but lockers allow customers to pick up their packages on their own schedule. The model was developed in India where navigation is difficult and residences are frequently unmarked. 
The other two photos show Amazon Key, which enables delivery inside a customer's home or car. These are new delivery channels developed within Amazon and best suited to AMZL to maximize the customer experience. Two more services to make the customer experience even better are package tracking and photo on delivery. We created these options because deliveries should be at the customer's convenience. Package tracking lets customers see exactly where the item they ordered is, up to 10 stops before it arrives at their door. Photo on delivery allows customers to check online to see a picture of their package after it's been delivered. Both of these give customers additional peace of mind about the online shopping experience. Let's review. What does Amazon obsess over? That's right, customers. We're also really into your safety, innovation, and being the world's most customer-centric company. How are packages delivered from our facilities to customers? Packages start in our fulfillment centers, then go to source centers and delivery stations, and then to you for delivery to the customer. Who are Amazon customers most likely to interact with? Yep, you.